Yo right, guys, this is Game Boy Luke here, and welcome to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Today we're actually having a live Wi-Fi battle. This is kind of different. I've only done, I think I've only done one of these before, and that was like the very, very first Wi-Fi battle I ever did. So we're coming back to this, um, and we're actually battling a good friend of mine um, called Mud Plays. Um, if you don't know who Mud Plays is, you should know who Mud Plays is. Uh, if you don't know who he is, then check his link out in the description. And yeah, I'm gonna get on straight on with this. I, I did whip up a quick team. It's kind of a mixture of the team I used. In the previous Wi-Fi battle, in the tenth one, I think, where I set up the screens and sort of try and launch the Azumarill in, but instead of launching Azumarill, I, Azumarill in, I have uh, Ampharos on my team, and I want to kind of set up this uh, this Mega Ampharos shit right here. So Ashley, my plays is running the Greninja, the like Aegislash, Slash. That's a huge threat. He has the Gardevoir, which is gonna be Mega. I'm guessing he's got the Ferrothorn, the Flygon, which is definitely different, and a Swampert. Uh, and Swampert's kind of fitting for him because he's um, he called Mud Plays after all, so that kind of ties in quite well. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually quite nervous. Um, I think if I led with Espeon, um, he's gonna lead with Ferrothorn and set up all his spikes and all that crazy business. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the Darmanitan lead would be good, maybe? Would a Darmanitan lead be good? But then he could counter that with a Greninja. I mean, it might just be safe to go with Espeon, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna go with Espeon. Just to be safe, I don't want to send in Darmanitan and then be put up against the freaking Swampert or something, so... Oh! Oh, we just got a communication error, that's kind of... Awkward, um... We're on Skype, so... I <laughs> just broke down his whole team, or broke down, yeah, his whole team and then we get a communication error. Um... Okay then, we're just gonna... If that happens mid-game, I do apologise, I'll probably still upload this video anyway. But it's not me because he's disappeared offline now and I can't find him. So, actually, I'll tell you what we'll do real quick. Actually, whilst we're waiting, I'm just going to run through the team um, real quick. I'll just jump on my battle box and we'll sh I'll show you, uh, show you what's going on here. So, we do have the, um, we do have SP. Um, we do have the Amphros. This thing's running Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, Focus Blast and Agility. So, I kind of want to set up the screens and then set up an Agility maybe. Just sweep and do do what I can, really, with this guy. Um, I do have the Sceptile, Giga Drain, Focus Blast, Lethal, and Hidden Power. Um, and I have the, you know, the traditional Zap, those you guys love. Um, and Suicune. Uh, this thing has Chester Bear. I should probably put Lumberry back on this guy. But, yeah. I've also got the, um, the Darmanitan as well. He's just telling me that he's back online now, so... I'm just gonna jump out of here. He's gonna send me the battle invite. I've never had this. <laughs> I guess it's like... I start doing live Wi-Fi battles and we have... A problem straight away, so that's kind of kind of sucky. But um, I just hope that doesn't happen mid-game. I don't know what it is. I'm so nervous. But I have a battle dash before. He's a new battler, so I I, I don't know what to expect. Uh, I think when you're battling new trainers or new players, rather, uh, you don't really know what to expect from them because they're not quite in tune with the whole competitive thing. I think it's easier to predict experienced players than it is to predict new players, if that makes sense. So I feel a lot of pressure right now because I feel like I'm gonna predict over predict moves that a maybe a more experienced battler would have or would do, and I'm gonna get it wrong. And I'm gonna lose. But I mean, it's all a learning experience. It's good to play um different um different types of experienced players, I guess. Because the more bad people you battle, the better you get. So it's all it's all good. So Ashley is issuing a challenge. I've been telling, I've been told Bud for ages that he needs to get into Wi-Fi battling, and he had just got into it recently. So I am gonna leave with the traditional. He's gonna leave with Greninja, so I'm glad I didn't go into um, Darmanitan. And I'm just gonna go. I don't know if it's. I mean, physical Greninja is a thing, but I doubt that he's got it. So I'm just gonna go for Light Screen. Uh, he's probably gonna go for something like Dark Pulse. He is scarfed. Okay, so he is scarfed. That's kind of good to know. Uh, he's just gonna go for Dark Pulse. That's probably gonna take me out. Um, which kind of sucks, but it's not too much of a problem. I now know that he's locked into Dark Pulse, so we can just switch into something. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, he's not locked into Dark Pulse. So, um, this kind of creates some sort of problem here. He is dark now, so I could just switch into Real Talk and just go for the Flare Blitz and do some damage to this guy. So, um, I think I'm going to do that, actually. Or oh, I could just go for the U-Turn, actually. Because that would be super effective, and that way I, uh, I can get uh, Darmanitan out of here, so... He is Dark-type, this is going to do hefty damage, so I'm just going to U-turn that. Uh, just oh, he does survive! <gasps> Ooh! Ooh, okay. 
That was that was lucky. Uh, he's gonna probably go for a scold now. I'm assuming he's gonna go for a scold because of the yeah. So I could just go into Suicune here. Uh, I don't really. I uh, might make actually no. He might go for Grass Knot. I'm gonna go into Gex. Um, I'm gonna go into Gex real quick. Um, and he's gonna go. He's gonna go for Surf. All right. I was predicting Scald, but Surf work, Surf works as well. Um, and that's not gonna do too much to Gex right here. That's that's pretty. That's that's good. And his Life Orb's gonna finish him off. I actually forgot he had the Life Orb for a second there. So he just told me on the Skype they had six hit points left. So that's a bit unfortunate. I probably had like weak damage or something. I mean, I don't want to sack my Diamantin too um, early in the game. I kind of, it kind of sucks. I didn't get the um, whole, you know what, up, the whole, the whole screens and stuff up. So it's not going to Gardevoir here. Um, I know Gardevoir can have Ice, Ice Beam, and I'm not really. I mean, I'm probably faster than it, and I could probably go for a Leaf Storm and kill it. Gex is uh, 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 people um, uh, uh, like underpredict this guy, so I'm actually just gonna just Yolo this, and I'm just gonna go for the Leaf Storm. He's gonna go to Mega, and now when I think about it, he might be faster than me. Mega Gardevoir might be faster than me. I'm not too sure. I'm kind of regretting this now. No, we are faster. Gotta go for that Leaf Storm, and that is gonna do some nice damage. I'm hoping it does get a special. I forgot. Yeah, um, Gardevoir does get a small special defense increase when it comes to Mega Evolution and stuff. So this Psychic's probably gonna take us out here. I was a bit reckless on my part. But it's not too much of a problem, I guess. Um, what we can do now is just come back into Real Talk and Revenge, revenge Kill again, basically. Um, I'm going to predict him to switch out here, actually. So I'm just going to go for another U-turn. He may go into something like Ferrothorn. So I am just going to use the U-turn here. Uh, he's going to withdraw. Okay, I did predict that. I'm just going to go. I should have probably taken a photo of his screen. I always forget to do that. Um, I am going to go for the U-turn, though. And he's going to come out into a Swampert. Now, that kind of sucks because Sceptile was kind of hit my counter for his uh, Swampert. So I probably shouldn't have thrown him away so easily I guess I don't even know if I yeah okay um so Swampert now um I'm gonna go into Suicune I'm gonna go into Suicune because I feel like I can set up on this Swampert Swampert's a beast and all but um Suicune is a physically defensive monster so I'm feeling I can probably I can probably wall this Swampert as well and if I get the scolds off and I burn this guy uh, he's going to be useless. So I'm just going to go for Calm Mind real quick and try and set up on this guy. And hopefully he doesn't have anything too scary. Um, I can predict maybe Power Up Punch, maybe an Earthquake's coming. Um, we do have Rest though and the Chesto. So he's going to go for Toxic. That's not too much of a problem. Like I said, we got Rest and we can just rest off the chest. We can just rest off the, um, uh, the Toxic later on if we need to. So that's not a problem. I have got a calm mind up, so I'm I'm gonna I'm actually kind of glad we don't have the lum because if I had the lum, he'd just go for another toxic here. So I'm just gonna go for scald right about now and try and get the burn. See how much damage this thing does, um, and it is gonna do not even half. That's not even gonna do anything. He's gonna go for raw. Okay. Um, normally you see them on stealth rock sets, so that's kind of different. Um, and I'm gonna be pulled into my rule talk here. Um, I'm gonna predict. A waterfall here or something, and I'm just gonna go for another U-turn because I may as well. I may as well. Uh, I'd rather get some damage off on this thing than just a switch out, clean switch out. So that's gonna get a little bit more damage on this thing. I'm gonna switch out again into my Suicune. Um, he could go for EQ, and I could switch into Zapdos, um, but I don't have anything to really do damage to Swampert, so I'm just gonna come back into Suicune. Um, and he might, if he predicts well, he could use Roar again. He could use Roar again if he predict, if he if he plays it well. If he plays it well, so he's going to go for a Waterfall. Um, he should have gone. He should have kind of gone for Earthquake there, but um, I'm going to take that Waterfall nicely. And I'm kind of feeling that he's going to predict the Calm Mind again and go for Roar. So I'm just going to go for a straight up Scald and trying to get that Burn off because that would be kind of useful right now. So I am just going to go for Scald, and he might even try and switch out on me. So. Um, let's see what happens here. I think he's gonna switch because he, he, he's taking his time. Um, yeah, he's gonna withdraw. Okay, I could have used the car. I could have actually set up with Calm Mind there. Um, he's gonna go into Ferrothorn actually, so that's not a problem. It's not really a problem that we didn't set up there because I would have had to switch out here anyway. So I am gonna get the Scold off. Hopefully that burns. If we get the burn, that'd be great, which we're not gonna get. Okay, that's fine. Um, right now, I'm seeing the setup right here. He's gonna predict me to switch out, obviously, and start setting up. So. Um, what I could do is maybe go and take this chance to go into Fari, my Ampharos, and set up. Because once I Mega Evolve, his um, Power Whips and his or, and or Gyro Balls probably won't do too much damage to me. Because, I mean, grass, uh, Dragon resists Grass. 
a dragon, yeah, dragon resist grass. So he is gonna go for leech seed here. Actually, I did not predict that. I did not predict that. I just predicted that he would go for spikes or something like that. So that's kind of scary. I'm gonna switch back out. I'm gonna go for the double switch here because I don't really want to. I want a mega revolve, maybe set up with an agility just to be um, seeded every single turn. So I'm just gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into my Zapdos here because I do have Heat Wave. Um, I don't know if he knows this, but I am going to use Heat Wave to maybe try and take this guy out. I know that Ferrothorn can be quite specially defensive. Uh, here's, here he goes for the Stealth Rock. Here comes the Stealth Rock, which isn't too much of a problem. Right? The only Pokemon that it really, really affects badly is Zapdos. So, I mean, he's in now. So, what I'm going to do is go for Heat Wave. Um, I'm, he might predict this because I'm not sure he, he does watch a couple of my videos. He may um, he may get me here. Yeah, he is going to switch out and he's probably going to go back into his Swampert. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I can predict. Uh, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna go for Heat Wave. Maybe I get a burn. If I get a burn, that will be great. Uh, I'm guessing that this guy's got Avalanche. Uh, I'm predicting Avalanche. The Avalanche is here. So, um, it might be an obvious play, but I am gonna go back into Suicune here. And I feel, I kind of feel like, um, when, when you're battling, sometimes you, you feel like you're in control. And I kind of feel that Ash is in control right now. Uh, of this battle, so I am kind of nervous. Um, the Stealth Rocks is going to do quite a lot of damage, actually. And he's going to go for Toxic again. But I'm already Poisoned, bitch, so you can't do that. Um, I'm coming down to half HP, so I'm thinking that a rest would be a good thing to do uh, in a minute. Uh, he probably will switch back into Pharaoh. Um, so I'm just going to go for another Scold. Hopefully, hopefully I can get the burn. That means that would... Oh, no, he's going to stay in. Okay, I was going to say, but if he switched into Ferrothorn and I burn it, that means he becomes much less of a threat. And he's going to go for Raw here. If he pulls me into my Darmanitan... Uh, actually, no, I, I just I just realised that Darmanitan actually um, is uh, under pressure, actually, because of uh, the st Stealth Rocks now. And I could Mega Evolve here. I could Mega. And I could maybe... Maybe outspeed. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go look up the speed stats of Swampert and um, Ampharos. So Swampert has 240, and Ampharos has 229. This guy is slow. <laughs> okay, I see the earthquake. I see the earthquake. Um, if I switch into Zapdos, there's not much I can do to this guy, unfortunately. Um, which I'm gonna have to do, so I'm gonna go switch, because I did see him go for the Toxic on Zapdos a minute ago, so if he does go for Toxic again, that's absolutely fine, because I do carry the Lumberry, because this is the, yeah, he is gonna go for Toxic here, which is cool, I'm getting, I'm trying to figure out what it says, I think it's Earthquake, Waterfall, Toxic, and Raw, so, right now, I can see him going for another Toxic, and I could probably take this opportunity to switch back into Su Suicune, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, let's pull into Suicune right here. Because I'm expecting to go for another Toxic. I don't really want my um, Zapdos to be to Toxic Poisoned. To be honest with you, that wouldn't be fun. So I am going to come into Suicune here. And he is probably going to go for another Toxic. I'm predicting. Uh, he is going to go for another Toxic. Um, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reveal the rest. Um, and Because I'm kind of, kind of scared of being at this kind of HP. I'm guessing he's going to go for another Raw. Um, so, I am going to rest here, real quick, because my HP is getting kind of low, and I don't particularly want to be poisoned anymore, so I am just going to rest real quick. Uh, and that's that, I'm going to get rid of sleep due to Chesto, obviously, and he's going to waterfall me, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so he's going to, um... I feel like he's going to Toxic me again, but I mean, obviously that's not a problem, because I can just rest it off, so I'm just going to Scold, I'm just going to go for the Scold, come on, I need the Burn Hacks, I really need the Burn Hacks right now, uh, got, there's a 30% chance of getting a Burn with swam, with, with, uh, with Scold, and I'm not getting it, <laughs> it's not fair, <laughs> come on, uh, I mean, I see all these other YouTubers spraying the Scold everywhere and getting the Burn, it's just like, come on, man, come on, so... Um, I'm probably, uh, I think he's probably going to switch into Pharaoh. He don't want to get, he doesn't want to get rid of his Swampert right now. And I mean, I'm pretty sure he can take another Scald. All of that Scald. And he is going to take it. If I get, I don't get, I don't get the burn, man. I don't get it. This is ridiculous. I've, I've shot that thing like four or five times now. 
if he wanted to, he could probably take a Swampert and keep it now and walk away with it. I mean, it is pretty, um, pretty weak right now. Um, I don't like my HP right now. If I want to, I could go for rest and then come um, and then sleep talk and maybe hope for the skull. But the only problem with that is that Swampert may regenerate more HP. I'm, do you know what? I'm going to screw it. I'm just going to go for rest again. I'm just going to go for rest again. Uh, and then I'm going to sleep talk because honestly, I don't feel like Suicune being poisoned is going to help me at all. Um, he could probably roar me out here. Um, I don't think that would be the smart move. Um, he has revealed the earthquake though. It's going to do 40 damage. Okay, I can deal with that. If I can get the sleep talk scald right here, that would be pretty cool. It would be good if I could get um, Calm Mind right here. He's going to withdraw. Okay. I'm gonna, I was kind of hoping that he wouldn't withdraw because now I'm kind of stuck in with a sleeping Suicune. Um, I am gonna go for sleep talk though and maybe get the skull if I can. If I can burn this guy, that'd be great. Uh, I'm gonna get the calm mind instead. So I can't really stay in now because I fear that he has power whip. And if he has power whip, um, he's gonna kill me. So I need to switch out into Zapdos again. Um, because Power Whip would easily take out Suicune. Even with the physical bulk of Suicune, it would easily take me out. So I'm just going to go back into Zapdos here, take the Stealth Rocks damage, and he is going to go for... dot 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 Leech Seed. Okay. Maybe he doesn't carry Power Whip. Maybe he's a Gyro Ball set. Hmm. Okay. Right, okay, well, I'm, what I'm going to do here is go for the Roost, I think, because I'm kind of fearing... My HP right now. I could go for Heat Wave, but um, it's obvious that he's going to switch out. He, he doesn't want to take one of those Heat Waves at all. So he is going to switch out and go into Swampert. Um, I don't think that I can take Swampert out. Um, I mean, after Leech Seed Recovery and... Um, after Leech Seed Recovery and... This is really stooly. Because <laughs> obviously, I'm going to probably just switch back into um, Suicune now. And he, I, yeah, he's just getting all his HP back. His Swampert, I could have just taken it out with the Scald, and I kind of wish I did. So I'm gonna, he, if he makes the prediction, he could switch into his Ferrothorn here, if he wanted to. I am just gonna go back into Sweet. This is, this is kind of, this kind of repeating. I am just gonna go back into Suicune, make the predictable play, and he is going to, uh, roar me out. Okay, so he's. Basically got rid of my Suicune and he's pulling out my Rule Talk. Yeah, I, I, I had a funny feeling that um, Dianatum was going to be brought in. Now the Stealth Rocks is a kind of a problem. Um, I could probably take this guy out if I used a different move than U-Turn. If I maybe used Super Power, I could probably take this guy out. It just means I have to switch next turn. So I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for Super Power here. Because I want to get rid of this Swampert. He's annoying. And I'm just hoping that this takes it out. No way! <sighs> I don't believe that. This thing is a monster. That's easily going to take Real Talk out. Real Talk is gone. That was a risky play. That was a risky play. That was a risky play, but I took it. I mean, it did just make this team. No excuses, though. Um, I'm going to go... Oh, shit. I'm going to go into Zapdos, I think. I'm just going to check how much special attack this guy has. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Swamp, um, Sapdos. I'm, I'm feeling maybe that I can take down Swampert with this thing is a real problem. Like I never really thought Swampert was that much of a problem. Um, I'm gonna try and take this thing out now with a Hidden Power Ice, cause it's getting a bit ridiculous that he's he's actually just still here trying to take me down. So I'm just gonna go for Hidden Power Ice, finish it off, and get rid of that guy. I had to reveal the Hidden Power Ice, but say la vie, say la vie. Uh, Mud actually hasn't lost a game yet, so he's going to go into Flygon here, which is a big mistake. I don't know if this guy has, um, focus. Oh, it's, he's chill. He's scarfed. He is scarfed. I did not see that coming. I thought it would be Focus Sash or something. I honestly thought this guy would be Focus Sash. Okay, he's got me here. Um, I have Fari, um, but I also have Suicune, so what I'm going to have to do is send in Suicune here. Uh, it's all down, it's all down to these guys now. I haven't met, I haven't shown the Mega Evo yet. Um, I may have to at some point soon, so I am just gonna I'm just gonna go for sleep talk Right here. He's probably gonna go for another stone edge um, Or although he might go into Pharaoh. He's gonna u-turn. Okay, 
He isn't scarfed. He isn't. F is 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 Flygon that fast? Really? I didn't. I should probably look these things up, you know, because I don't really see Flygon about. So I got destroyed by that thing. That was crazy. Okay, he's gonna go into his Guard of Art, which I'm guessing carries T Bolt. Uh, I'm gonna go for. If I can get the Scold off, that would be great, Sweet Coon. Please pull through. Please pull through with a mighty sleep, uh, mi mighty scold, and he is going to pull through. Come on, take that, take the guard of our Actually, I think he'll probably eat this up, but no, he is going to take him down. That is awesome. Based Suicune actually pulling through here. Um, he's going to go into Pharaoh. It's really obvious that he's going to go into Pharaoh. Um, oh no, he's going to go into Age Slash. Okay, right here. I'm going to go for Scold. Ah, uh, because I need to burn this guy. I need to burn this guy. Um, he's probably gonna go for sword stance or something. If I can get the, no, he's gonna go. He's gonna switch the stance. He's gonna straight up go for the stance change, and go for straight a uh, sacred sword. Uh, and then he can probably take me down with a shadow sneak. Uh, if I can survive this, uh, that would be perfect. If I can, oh, he's not gonna go for shadow sneak. I'm just gonna rest up there. <laughs> Ain't nobody pay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get that nom nom nom. Get all that HP back. And he, here we go, setting up the sword. Maybe he predicted uh, the, the the rest there. If I can get the sleep talk off and um, get the scold again, that would be perfect. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that maybe this Age Slash doesn't have it. He's going to set up all over me right now, I think. He's probably going to get greedy and go for another one. I am going to get the scold, though, so that's always good. I'm getting quite lucky with the uh, with the sleep talk now. Um, unfortunately, not going to get the burn again. This is kind of unlucky. I'm, it's like it's base. It's just under one in like a one in three chance. So I am getting kind of unlucky. I am getting lucky with the sleep talk. I'm just not getting lucky with the skull. So um, let's see if we can pull through with another skull here. If we can, I've taken down the age slash. It's gone, and I have. I have. I am so lucky. Those, those skulls really. See, he got he got greedy with the sword stances there. He got really really greedy, and I'm going to come out of this. With a full HP Suicune. If he played his cards right, he could have taken me down and got rid of me. So, um, that's very unfortunate on, on his part. I am just going to go. I could switch out. I'm predicting that he's going to go for Leech Seed. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Scald. And I'm going to try and burn this guy. Uh, if I can get a burn, that would be so useful. Because then I could switch into my um, Ampharos. And maybe... No, I'm not going to get it. I don't... The burn isn't real today. The burn isn't real. Um, I am playing for hacks, which is, I guess, a bit, um, a bit cheeky, a bit risky, um, but, um, okay, I'm just gonna go for another one. I'm just gonna go for another one. I can take a couple more leech seeds. I really want to burn this guy. I really want the burn. I really want it. I'm gonna get it. There's the burn. There it is. And now he does have power whip. Okay, reveal the power whip. Okay, I'm gonna eat that up now due to the fact that he has, um, it has been burned, so I, I'm, I'm very lucky for the fact that that, um, that burn came through. Um, but right now, uh, I can't. I, can't, I don't know if he's going to switch out. But I do have Leech Seed, and I am Leech Seeded, so I'm going to get the fuck out of here. So, I am going to retreat right now. Um, I'm not sure what to expect from the Ferrothorn right now. Um, I'm hoping that he stays in and maybe goes for another Power Whip. Uh, which he does do, but I avoid the attack. I avoid the attack. That is perfect. Uh, I, this gives me the chance to Mega Evolve, um, which I am going to do, and I'm going to go for an Agility, because if he goes for Power Whip now, um, he, I'm going to resist it, he's burned, it's going to do nothing to me. So I am just going to power, I'm, I'm just going to, uh, power up, power up, I'm just going to Mega Evolve, um, break the mold, and then I'm going to get the Agility. I am going to be at plus two speed, so my speed is now doubled. And I'm at Mega Form, and he's gonna go for Power Whip. I'm gonna resist this now, so I'm kind of curious to see how much this does, and it does. <laughs> okay, so I'm not sure if he has any Scarf users on his team, um, but right now, actually, screw it. I'm just gonna go for straight up Focus Blast right here. I am just gonna go straight for it, because um, I'm. If he does switch out here, if he does switch out, um, I'm not gonna switch out. I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast, and I'm gonna be able to take down the Ferrothorn. So I am at plus two speed. And I do have um, Suicune in the, in, in the back, just in case I need him. Uh, he's going to go into Flygon. Okay, so I am at plus two speed. Um, and I am going to be able to hopefully outspeed this guy and go for Dragon Pulse. And maybe he is Focus Sashed. If he is Focus Sashed, um, then he probably will go for EQ. But I, he isn't. He isn't. Okay. So, I, I, I won. I beat him 2-0. But that was a really, really good game. But I, I, you, you almost had me there. Seriously. 
<laughs> you almost got me. You had, you had, Mud basically had control throughout most of that game. And I'm not gonna lie, that was a really enjoyable battle. That had me on the edge of my seat throughout the whole thing. Um, I hope this video isn't too long for you guys. It was, that, was a, that was a really good game. Um, please check out Ashley's channel in the description. He's a great LPO and he's also a good guy. Um, and I do recommend his channel. So please do um, go to his channel and check his stuff out. He does some awesome stuff. And yeah, if you have enjoyed this battle, don't forget to leave a rating and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I guess I'll see you in the next battle, guys. See you later.